hi guys welcome back to our channel in today's video i'm just going to be showing off some baby organization that kind of like makes things easier for mom or dad it's just very simple hacks um this is obviously going to be a short video i'm just going to be showing off my three tier cart but i'm showing it off to like maybe so some like inspiration for some of y'all out there so let's just get it so this is my three tier cart that i have right next to my bed so it's easy access we also have the pack and play right here don't mind like the stuff that's in there i will obviously move it whenever baby is here but yeah this is my three tier cart pretty much everything i've gotten from amazon so if you need to leave anything just let me know but I got the cart from Amazon as well. So as you can see, I have this changing station on the pack and play. So I wanted to have easy access to like diapers and stuff like that. So this top one has diapers. I have newborn and size one diapers on here because I just know that like a lot of people say they're not in newborn for that long. So I wanted both of them on here for convenience and then we have a bunch of different diaper rash cream we have the butt paste we have destin we also have this vaseline and then we also have a bunch of sample size of aquaphor which i know aquaphor is really good i used that whenever i was babysitting this little girl and then we have this changing pad it's in this little zip thing that it came in and we also have wipes of course i've said in previous videos before that i'm not breastfeeding but i am also going to be exclusively pumping as well as formula feeding so that explains all the stuff that i have on here but we have some nursing pads we also have some bibs just because i know babies drool a lot so i wanted those to be convenient we have breast milk storage bags because like I said, I'm going to be exclusively pumping. We have nipple cream and we have the peri bottle, my wearable breast pumps. We have always discreet and then we also have depends because it's all about personal preference. Some people prefer the always discreet and then some people prefer the depends. So I'm just going to try out both. Um, I also got this Haka silicone breast pump. Even though, like I said, I am just going to be exclusively pumping, I decided to get it because I could even, like, collect colostrum in it. We just have some regular Always Maxi Pads, and then we have some Dermaplast. A lot of people say that Dermaplast came in handy for postpartum, so. And then we have the Freedom Mom Perennial Cooling Pad Liners. We also have these instant ice maxi pads that are also from Freedom Mom. And then also over here on the side of the pack and play, I have more of the always maxi pads and the always discreet. And then the Freedom Mom instant ice maxi pads, just so they're out of the way. Um, I just put a few on my cart that I can fit. And then whenever I need to restock, I have them conveniently over here. This bottom one, we have a lot of bath stuff and stuff like that. This is bath stuff. These are the normal size ones. These are Aveeno Baby. We also have this little duck thing, which is to put in the water whenever you're giving baby a bath. So you know if the temperature is right or not. You don't want it too hot. In the back there, I do have some like sample size shampoo and body lotion and stuff like that. And right here we have Tylenol and then we have Motrin. And I know, as you can see on the Motrin, it says you can't, they can't have that until they're six months old. But I'm still storing it right here for convenience. And then in the back there, we have the shampoo rinser. And right here we have this electric nail file because a lot of people say baby's nails are hard to clip. So it's a lot easier to get a, an electric one. We also have her little towel right here. And then right here, I also have 
this thermometer, which is a three in one. It's the Frida baby. You can use it as a rectal, oral, and armpit. I thought that was really convenient because I know that especially whenever they're like really young, doctors prefer whenever you're taking their temperature that you do the rectal because it's more accurate. And then this has a bunch of different things. We have like a little nail clipper, which I probably won't use that that much because I'll probably use the electric one. But we also have the nose sucker. We have um, a pacifier in there that's for like medicine, just handy stuff like that. And then we also have her washcloths right here. They're all rolled up. There's like 10 of them, but I just rolled them up for convenience. And in the very back there, we have the Frida Baby um, finger toothbrush for their gums. But that is everything in my three tier cart. Also on my nightstand here, I have these baskets from Five Below. This just has like some extra outfits for her. We have a swaddle right here, which is the Halo sleep sack. We have newborn outfits right here and then zero to three just because I know babies get messy all the time. I might change how I have this, I don't know. And then we also have this container that has all of her pacifiers in it. Like I said, I might change this organization just because I ended up getting gifted this diaper caddy. I wasn't expecting to get one, but somebody gifted it to me. So I might put some of this stuff that's over here in this. I don't know we'll see at a later time but anyways that is all the organization that is by my bed let me know if you want more organization videos i do on my tiktok do a lot of like tiktoks where i show me actually organizing everything which a lot of the time i don't really film me organizing everything because i just randomly get into moods where i want to nest and that's usually like late at night and don't really film that much at night <laughs> but anyways that is going to be the end of this video make sure to like comment and subscribe and also turn on my post notifications and i'll see you guys in my next one